The skin is the biggest organ in the body and whatever is put on it will be absorbed into the bloodstream and carried around the body. Many conventional perfumes contain a lot of chemicals that do not have to be listed on the label, such as synthetic fragrances, which contain chemicals like phthalates to help prolong the scent on the skin, parabens, benzyl acetate, and so many more. The long-term health impacts of phthalates alone include cancer, human reproductive and developmental toxicity, endocrine disruption, birth defects, and respiratory problems. Essential oils like jasmine, neroli, patchouli, lavender, rose, bergamot, and sandalwood have long been used when making perfume. However, as essential oils are quite pricey, some perfume makers prefer to use cheap copycat synthetic scents instead. Most perfumes are a mixture of scented oils and an alcohol or carrier oil base. When smelling a perfume, often the first thing you'll detect are the top notes, followed by the mid-tones and bass notes. When making perfume, you want to select and add the scents in order from bass notes to top notes. I recommend adding a few drops at a time of each oil and then keep a note, either on your phone, computer or in a journal, of how many drops of each you've added. Then once you've discovered your favourite blend and have written it down, you can easily make more of it. If you want to try many different oils but are concerned about the expense as they can be quite pricey, it's a good idea to ask a friend who's really into essential oils if you could borrow some of theirs or collect tester samples from the store as you only really need a little of each. When making perfume, always use a dark bottle, not transparent or clear, to keep the perfume from growing rancid over time and store it in a cool, dark, dry place that isn't exposed to sunlight. It's important to also make sure the lid is firmly attached to prevent oxidation, ensure the alcohol you're using is pure, and test a little of the essential oils on your skin first to ensure that there's no reaction. When making the perfume oil, you want to mix the ingredients together in a glass bowl or container to avoid metal or plastic interfering with the scents. To make this homemade natural perfume oil, start by adding 2 tablespoons of pure vodka to a dark glass bottle, then add in the essential oils, starting with the base notes, then the mid, and finishing with the top notes. Top notes tend to be light and fresh, and are usually the first to evaporate, so they don't last for as long as the middle and base notes of a scent. You can find a list of examples of base, mid, and top note essential oils to use online, and I've also shared a few of my favourites in my blog post, which I'll link in the description below. For this recipe, you want to start by adding 6 drops of patchouli, followed by the mid notes which include 4 drops of lavender, 4 drops of geranium, and 4 drops of rose essential oil, mm -hmm. and then finish with the top notes, which are 8 drops of either sweet orange or lemon essential oil. Add these to the bottle with the vodka, then cap the lid tightly and shake well to combine. Allow the scents to meld together for at least a month and keep the perfume stored in a cool, dark, dry place during this time away from sunlight. Once it's ready, you can shake the perfume before each use and apply it to your pulse points. And that's how you make this homemade natural perfume. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please let me know if you try this out yourself and what you think and what essential oils you choose to use in the perfume you make. I'd love to know. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.